So, uh, as mentioned earlier, the development kit will drive uh, two uh, 12 volt valves. So in this example here, we have two 12 volt uh, Li HDI or high density interface valves that are 3-2 valves. Uh, what I'd recommend is you read the valve data sheet uh, prior to use. Um, also, always make sure that you don't leave the valves powered as sometimes these can become hot. So in this example here, what we've done is we've taken these three two valves to basically swap between the intake and discharge on the pump. So as you can see, as we're swapping between pressure and vacuum on the pump, the syringe barrel is moving forwards and backwards as we're swapping between positive pressure and negative pressure. The development kit will drive a number of different types of valve. Uh, for full information on that, please consult the manual. We can control VHS or very high speed valves. We have spike and enable as well for different uh, valve types. But as mentioned, this is all covered in the manual, so please read that uh, prior to uh, setting anything up. This will just make sure your experiment goes smoothly and you don't see any issues. As you can see on the um, app on the background that's running, we have it toggling between the two and you can see the pressure trace alternating between positive and negative pressure as we have the discharge or the process line connected to the little onboard pressure sensor that we have on the development kit but I trust this is a, a nice demonstration. And the only noise you can actually hear is a little bit of air noise coming from the filter. So if I cover that, that silences everything because this pump is silent and vibration free. As mentioned, another great feature of the development kit is the ability to control up to two 12 volt valves simultaneously. In the example shown, two Li 32 HDI valves were used to create reversible flow by alternating the process line between the pressure and vacuum ports on the pump. And this was achieved using the following setup. For more information on setting up valves, please again consult with the user manual. So having correctly plumbed up the three two valves as shown in the schematic on the screen now, you then need to select the control mode for each valve. In this instance, as we are using Li HDI valves and not Li VHS or very high speed valves, I will be just selecting the slow default off, using the drop down arrows for both. In each instance, you will be asked to save the settings to the board by power cycling the board. This can be done by removing the power cable and the USB cable and then reattaching. So having saved the valve driver settings to the board by power cycling it, you can then control how you want to trigger the valves. In this instance, I've chosen a cycle time of 10,000 milliseconds or 10 seconds and a valve on time of 5,000 milliseconds or 5 seconds and this has been chosen for both valves. So in essence, I'll be applying 5 seconds of positive pressure followed by 5 seconds of negative pressure and it is this that is moving the syringe barrel in and out. I've also chosen a cycle count of 5 which means this will be repeated 5 times when I trigger the valves. So when I trigger the valves, and then enable the pump, you'll see the pressure trace swing between negative and positive pressure and the syringe barrel moving backwards and forwards.